Hello, everybody. Over the past few years, we have been enjoying ourselves with Sanditon, a Jane Austen adaptation that no one has given credit for initially. It's not news that Austen's work has always provided good material for movies and TV. There is something about her writing that makes her books highly adaptable. That's why we cannot stop watching Pride and Prejudice's both TV and movie adaptation over and over again, as well as Emma, Sense and Sensibility, and more. Not only these literal adaptations, but also the ones that take inspiration from Austen's work such as Clueless and Bridget Jones' Diary have also proved to be watchable multiple times as we cannot get enough of them. That being said, even though there are no doubts about Austen's writing skills and the quality of her content, it doesn't necessarily mean that every single project that is based on her job is worth watching. The latest example is Netflix's Persuasion, which proved that a single bad movie can ruin the entire reputation of the original material. Now, regardless of its success, one thing is clear. For a book or story to be adapted, it needs to have enough material to provide. Now, this is where Sanditon was lacking. Sanditon is the single incomplete book of Austen as she never had the chance to finish it due to her illness. Therefore, the majority of the fans overlooked it as it never got a proper ending that would make it worth reading or be adapted on TV. Then in 2019, Andrew Davies came to the scene and argued that even incomplete stories are worth taking a look at. His bold decision has been the one that changed the fate of Sanditon forever. The incomplete book has been adapted into a TV series that shocked us all. To be honest, by just watching the TV show, we believe there is no way of telling that the story is incomplete. On the contrary, it seems highly well-grounded, well-written and cleverly portrayed through unique characters. It's easy to make this claim based on just first and second seasons of the show, but as we approach the third and final season, we started to get nervous since Davies will write down his own ending to the story, and we're not sure if it will make the same impact that all the other awesome projects have. Justin Young, the showrunner of the series, recently said that the filming of the last season has already been completed, but they are waiting for a confirmation from Masterpiece to come up with an official release date. Regardless, we expect the new season to be out around spring 2023. Our biggest expectation from the last season is to see Charlotte and Alexander Colborn together. According to Rose Williams, who plays the part of Charlotte, her character feels much different about Mr. Colborn compared to her first love, Sydney Parker. From Charlotte's character perspective, she wasn't looking for love in the first series and it happened upon her in the way that she came across Sydney Parker, and she had her first experience of young love, really falling for someone in a way and that first heartbreak. Then as Charlotte moves into the second series, processing the grief of losing this man that she'd fallen in love with, she definitely isn't looking for a husband. She's pushing back against that. Her getting the job of becoming a governess is very much wants to angle her life into forging a path of independence. The connection between Charlotte and Colborn very much comes from a place of maturity and mutual understanding, as opposed to that kind of exciting, adrenaline-led experience of love, she said in a recent interview. What are your expectations from Sanditon Season 3? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.